convicted West Baltimore gang leader once dubbed the city's number one trigger puller was sentenced to life in prison Friday. Federal prosecutors said Montana Baronet, who turns 24 on Monday, once headed the train to go gang, a subset of the Black Gorilla family, that was responsible for nine murders, threatening witnesses and dealing at least 1,000 grams of heroin around the Sand and Winchester neighborhood. Maryland U.S. Attorney Robert Kaher called the group one of the most violent gangs operating in Baltimore City. Interim Baltimore Police Commissioner Gary Tuggle called the verdict a great day for the city, and one that would be a message to would-be gangsters out there that they cannot murder with impunity. The investigation was the result of a task force of investigators with the Baltimore Police Department and the FBI. Jurors deliberated a week in October before convicting Barrett and seven other trained-to-go members of drug and racketeering conspiracy charges. All faced sentences of up to life in prison. During a five-week-long trial, federal prosecutors laid out how Baronet and his brother, Terrell Sivels, 27, led the group that made as much as $10,000 a day selling heroin and served as guns for hire. The prosecutor's case included more than 30 witnesses, phone call recordings, packages of heroin and marijuana, surveillance photos and videos of undercover drug buys. The defendants' Instagram pages, where they posted photos of themselves with stacks of cash and guns, were also presented to jurors. Feds describe bullets sprayed. Blood spilled in train to go gang trial closing Baronet was convicted of participating in seven murders, including a 2015 ambush that left three people dead. Jurors, however, could not reach consensus on the November 2015 killing of David Moore and May 2010 killing of Jamie Hilton Bay. Baronet had been accused of killing Moore, Sivils, of killing Hilton Bay. In a city often plagued by the stop-snitching culture, prosecutors said during the trial that the families of witnesses had been threatened. The U.S. Marshals Service took additional security precautions, such as searching the shoes of all spectators. Three of the defendants were later indicted on charges of assaulting U.S. Marshals while they were being transported to and from the courtroom during their trial. A drug dealer named Guy Coffey had been working as an undercover informant and tipping off police to crimes by the defendants. He was gunned down after his name was leaked onto the streets. Among the government witness was a ranking member of the Black Gorilla Family Street Gang, who talked about recruiting neighborhood boys as young as 13 to sell drugs. In January 2017, Baronet was mistakenly released from jail and later recaptured. WJZ-TV had reported that he was able to travel to Brooklyn, NY, to watch Sandown native Gervonta Davis fight for a boxing title. Baronet was eventually located in Ray Eisterstown. The other defendants are John Harrison, 28, Taurus Tillman, 29, Linton Broughton, 25, Dennis Poley, 31, Brandon Wilson, 24, and Timothy Floyd, 29. A ninth defendant, Roger Taylor, remains a fugitive sought by the FBI.